First of all, you do not get fencing like this at Walmart. <laughs> this was commissioned as a one-of-a-kind design explicitly for the public grounds of Capitol Square. And the installation of this fence was completed in 1818. It's an easy date to remember. It works both coming and going. 1818. It's been here ever since. It's cast iron. The pieces are incredibly heavy. It's very durable. And the fence is set into granite blocks, which have been drilled out to receive the posts and the individual rods of the fence. And then they've even poured lead uh, into the hole. So this fence is intended to stay. And as you look at it, it's also symbolic. Think in your minds of the obverse of the Seal of Virginia with Virtus, the triumphant classical goddess, uh, standing over the tyrant king. And she has a sword in one hand and what in the other? A spear. So these spears uh, recall the spear held by the people of Virginia in conquering their tyranny. And then, uh, more subtle, but study each fence post here, the design that is carefully wrought. And you'll notice it's intending to uh, suggest a bundling together of spears uh, with these uh, cross lashings to keep them tightly bound together. That is a direct reference to the Roman fasces. And in the Roman period, they had the fasces, a real bundle of rods, which would be carried in public processions to remind the people that uh, the Roman government uh, was supreme and that the powers of their magistrate were uh, far reaching. Americans, as early as the revolution, said, what a great symbol for our purpose. Uh, more a symbol of unity and strength. United we stand, divided we fall. E pluribus unum, we are one out of many. And so we started using the fasces in our uh, public places. And there's a perfect example of a Roman fasces stylized for American purposes in the rotunda. Actually, three examples. Two fasces are painted in the corners on opposite sides of the dome. Next time you're in the rotunda, look up and you'll see them up there, uh, complete with a Roman axe head at the top of the bundle. And then where's the third bundle of rods in the rotunda? On the priceless Udon statue of Washington, and Washington is uh, holding on to this group of rods, 13.